Hi! So, in this video, I'm going to be painting on some rocks! Yeah, you probably already knew that from the title, but you didn't know that it was these rocks that I was going to be painting on, so these one and another one that I'll show you later. And there is more than one reason why I'm doing this. The first reason is that I have this rock down here that is holding up the, some of my Team Star Kit things, if you know what that is. And when I put it there, I was like, I need to paint on this at some point, but I didn't want to make a video of me just painting one rock. So now I've found some more places in my room that I think could need a decorated rock there and then I'm going to be painting the rocks to match the place that I'm placing them. And the second reason is to give you some inspiration on how to paint on rocks. I know a lot of people make these videos, it's not a unique thing at all, there's like so many people painting on rocks. So I'm just really surprised if you chose to watch this video or everyone else doing the same thing, but if you have, first of all, thank you, and uh, second of all, then I just want to show you my ideas that I put on rocks. I don't know why people paint on rocks in videos. Like, honestly, everyone's probably just doing it to show off what they made. But then we're just gonna pretend that we're doing it to give you inspiration. But why are you watching these videos then? You are probably looking for inspiration, but if you're not, you'll, you're just enjoying them anyway. So I don't really need to explain why I want to show you why me painting on rocks because you decided to watch this video so yeah being honest i just want to show you my take on painting my rocks i want to paint my rocks i want to make a video and then i'm hoping in the process to give more people inspiration to paint and to entertain you that's the five reasons i'm making this video there's probably more but yeah, hopefully you will gain some inspiration or just be entertained in some way while I'm getting my rocks painted. So we're both gaining something here, right? But yeah, I'm just gonna get started on painting those rocks. So the rocks I'm going to be painting is this one right here that I talked about in the Team Star Kit corner. Then I want to make one for my mermaid corner right here and also one for my pirate corner. And then lastly, I want to make one for my Harry Potter corner. So four rocks in total. So as I said, the first thing I needed to do was just to find out what to paint on the rocks. So I had to make a Star Kid, Harry Potter, Mermaid and a Pirate one. For the Star Kid one, I decided to just go with the logo because I wanted something that symbolized all Star Kid shows. And for Harry Potter, I decided to do a Pygmy Puff because I wanted something less typical Harry Potter and something that I didn't already have in my Harry Potter corner. For the mermaid one, I decided to do just a rainbow mermaid tail. And for the pirate one, I decided to do a swan and a hook making a heart like Captain Swan from Once Upon a Time because Emma Swan and Captain Hook, so a swan and a hook making a heart. So the first thing I did was just to paint all the background colors. So for Star Kid, it had to be black. And for the Harry Potter one, it had to be this kind of white color. And then for Captain Swan, I made it this gray color here. And of course the rainbow mermaid tail had to be rainbow and I decided I wanted kind of a pastel rainbow just to because I thought there was like more mermaid tail like I don't know. Uh, so I started out by just mixing all the colors in the rainbow and then adding some white. They didn't get really light enough but I also like that there's some color in it so I was fine with with the colors in the end. They were light enough for me and uh, then I just started painting the rainbow mermaid tail like the other three were pretty simple to do but this uh, was kind of like some of the design I was already doing um so I kind of miss you like just with no like just kind of thought how big each piece had piece had to be and uh, then I would just cover some of it up and uh, to make them like equal size kind of but it didn't really matter because I had to blend them together afterwards anyway and uh, I'm not really an experienced blender of colors, so uh, I did the best I could. And uh, in the end, I just thought, you know, I'm going to paint like uh, the mermaid scales on top. So how well are you even going to be able to see it? And yeah, spoiler alert, you won't really be able to see it once I put the scales on top. So uh, I think I did a, a fairly good blending. It was good enough for it to look good in the end and uh, yeah I just went back and forth with the two colors needed to blend together until there wasn't like a sharp line between them but they kind of looked like they faded into each other and then just a bit down on the sides here before starting on the star kit design. 
The stocked one needed a bit of a gray splatter on top, but that dried pretty quickly, so I could almost immediately start on the design, which was just S and K for Star Cat. I was originally thinking to write all Star Cat, but I just thought I'd done that like a lot of times before, well, like two times before, but still I didn't really want to do it one more time, and I also thought it would be difficult to fit it on such a small rock and I wouldn't be able to paint in the details and all that and then I thought oh I could do like their profile picture on um, on YouTube but uh, I like their profile picture on Instagram better so that's the one I decided to paint on here which is this one because I thought it looked pretty cool with these colors and stuff and uh, the YouTube one was just like uh, with the uh, yellow writing I think um, so yeah, I just painted it in with Posca pens and then went in with a really small paintbrush to work on like the color fading that goes from the letters. And then to fix it up, I decided to use a black Posca pen to paint around it, which was a big mistake because that looked super weird. Um, so I had to go over that again and kind of remove it which meant I had to start not from the beginning again, but like, I had to fix everything up one more time. I couldn't really get the S to look like I wanted it to, so I went a lot back and forth trying to uh, to fix that up. So at this point it doesn't look that great, but it will look better in the end when I'm... Like, I just keep fixing it up because I cover it with the black again several times because I just can't, uh, like, stop using the black Posca pin, which just ruins everything and then I have to cover it back up. So here you can see I just went back over with the white and just tried to fix it a bit up. It looks a bit better now. And then while that was drying, I decided to just start working on the mermaid one. I had thought I would just like finish one and then move on to the next one, but I just didn't want to spend that much time waiting for it to dry, so I decided to work at two rugs at a time. So I started on this mermaid one, which was pretty simple. I just had to make these scales all the way from like the top to the bottom of it. I decided to start at the middle because I didn't really know how to start at the top. Uh, would like how to start it so I decided to just make one there and then work down from there and then afterwards work up from there so uh, it was pretty simple I decided to use a toothpick for this because I was just afraid that if I even tried using the Posca pen it would be like way too thick lines um, and it would look like too too much you would be able to see the black too much so I decided to not even try that and just go in with the um, with the toothpick and I thought it looked really good so I'm pretty sure that it looks better than if I had actually used a Posca pen instead. I tried a bit on the paper and I just decided quickly that I wanted to do this this instead and uh, yeah I messed it up a bit here so I had to cover it up but you can see now I'm almost done making the scales. It didn't take as long as you would probably think it would but it still took a bit of time but it was it was fair enough it didn't take that long that I was like getting tired of doing it, so that was pretty nice. Uh, I thought it would take longer. The top here was definitely the most difficult part because uh, it was like bending in, so I had to like keep reducing the number of scales I was making, but uh, in the end it worked out fine and uh, I just fixed some of the colors up before this was actually finished. And then I went back to the Team's Dark Hit one and uh, continued finishing that up. I had also stopped doing it because I was kind of unsure on how to continue it, but I went back into it and just started from one place and worked around it. And uh, the blue part was definitely the most difficult one, like the purple and pink part had been pretty easy, but I just couldn't work around the blue part. Um, but I figured when you put some light blue on there too and kind of made the the same fade, it it looked better and I could ki finally find a way to work it out. And you can also see that the S is finally starting to look like it should. And then uh, here it is, the finished one. And then I started on the Harry Potter one, which was the Pikmin Puff one. And uh, for this I just made a purple splatter on it to kind of form the pygmy puff and then put some pink on top because it kind of has like purple and pink colors in it and then I made some uh, yellow stars around it because I wanted it to be kind of like magical 
So I made some yellow stars and some white dots and let that dry before and started working on the Captain Swan one. So just started out by working on the swan, which didn't turn out that great. So I had to color some of it up uh, again and then just started working on the hook, which turned out pretty great. So I went back to the swan and tried to fix it up. But in the end, I decided it looked totally wrong and just covered all of it up and then uh, worked on the hook instead while I was waiting for the gray to dry so I could try again with the with the swan so I decided to make an outline around the hook just because I thought it like matched too much with the background color and then I worked in some details on the hook here I decided to just use gray for that and then it kind of looked very alike the the background again so I went around the black part with a white outline just so that it was like standing out from, from the background colors. And then just fixing up the details I painted on there. Before when going back to the Harry Potter one and painting in the face and feet of the Pygmy Puff. And uh, I had to wait for that to dry for a bit. Uh, before giving in some more layers and before like making the eyes so I started working on uh, like the details on the on the fur like it needed some like it needed to look like actual fur instead of just a big purple blob <laughs> or what you call it so uh, I did that by putting some black on then covering it back up with purple and and pink and then like kind of scratching off the purple and pink so that you could kind of make out the black underneath because with just the black on top it looked too black so it turned out pretty great doing it that way and then while that was drying again I went back and tried again with the sworn and it turned out much better this time so uh yeah just painting that in and um, then going back to the Harry Potter one and covering that up again so yeah I'm just going a big back and forth between these two because there's a lot of things that has to dry before I can work more on it so then I'll just work on the other one and then I painted in all of the details of the swan here as you can see and then back to the puff and just starting painting in the details on that too because I had enough layers and it had dried enough so just a black outline around here and uh, then the details on the feet and the mouth here and the eyes and then back to this one painting some hearts around it because it's like love it's captain sworn and then because um, in the final episode hook has this pink thing on his hook because they have a baby uh, i thought i wanted that too because then it's like emma and hook and their baby i just like doing that i think it like brings it all together and then because I thought with the black outline around the face and feet, uh, the purple looked a bit too, like, not outlined. So I also make it, made a black outline around the the purple part. Then made some more hearts. And then this Captain Swan one was finished. And, well, all of them was finished now. So I started giving them varnish glue just to seal in the paint and make them more glossy and just make the paint look better. So here is all the finished rugs. I'm pretty happy with these rugs. This one is definitely my favorite, even though I was really doubting whether this would look good while I was making it. But I think it turned out super great. And that's also the one that I was like most planning to make. You know, that's the one reason I made all these rugs. So it's good that that turned out great. I also really like this one. It's pretty simple, but I still really like it. I love rainbows. I love mermaids. So it's just perfect for me. Um, I made this design like so many times before so that's probably why that's not one of my favorites but I love how it turned out and I don't have any complaints about it but uh, it's just a simple design I think that's just it and that I made it like so many times before I also really like this one but it's probably my least favorite one of those like um I just think maybe some more stars or some more colors around here would have made it better like just some more magic but uh, this looks fine and I'm super happy about it and I don't think it looks bad it's just probably my least favorite of these four rocks but i hope you enjoyed watching this video of me painting on rocks it was pretty much phantom rocks well probably except this one actually this one was actually not a phantom rock but well yeah from once upon a time team star kid harry potter and then we can just say h2o even though there's no rainbow mermaid in h2o but, but we'll just say that that's that's just mermaids <laughs> and i really do hope that you got some inspiration out of this or maybe got some ideas or found out about more how you could do it or something i definitely hope you gained something from this video i definitely did i never really well i have painted a rocks don't you do that when you're like 
Yeah, I painted on rocks before, but I never like seriously tried to make something look good on rocks before. Yeah, I definitely learned something from this experience and I think it's something I will try again once and I hope that you will try this now too because it's fun painting on rocks and it's also fun working with the shapes of rocks. It's super fun and just go looking for fun rocks. That's also a fun part of it. Like I found these rocks on, uh, well, I had this already, but these three I found on uh, my morning walk with my dog. I just spent that looking for rocks too because I knew I was going to paint them when I got back home. So definitely go looking for rocks and then you have them. Then you can always paint on them if you want to. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching me paint these rocks and uh that it was fun but now i'm just gonna put the rocks in their places where i want them and uh, then it's the end of the video